previous video I talked about the high speed steel that we use in the shaper and I also said I never tried to use inserts in the shaper of course you understand we cannot leave it like this today we are gonna try I made this little tool holder and the insert fits in here so I am gonna use it in the 60 degree angle nothing special just straightforward let's put it in the shaper and see what happens the cutting tool is in place I put all these rubber bands here to avoid it from falling down and maybe break it off so we'll see if it works or not I have a piece of hot roll steel in here and this is uh, of course very soft and really not easy to have a nice finish on it but we'll see what happens because inserts need a very high cutting speed I set the machine on maximum speed which is 160 soaks a minute now the maximum according to this card is uh, 50 meters per minute cutting speed my stroke length is a bit more than 100 so now we are almost at the maximum of the machine can do if now I start the machine you will see immediately that there is a boogie woogie problem the machine is not stable enough on its feet nuts on the feet four of them in the hope there will be a bit less movement but it doesn't help the movement comes also from this part and I'm a bit scared to break maybe a part of this uh, casting so we're gonna find another solution I found myself some pieces of uh, forest you know these are three parts so I think they grow in square and rectangular shapes I don't know I'm not a tree specialist I found some beautiful stainless I think bolts they're gonna hold the machine down I'm gonna make some washes and wood screws So now it should be rock solid. Should be. First I'm going to clean up these local forest particles. Here in the region where we live it's always very difficult to find raw materials because piles of scrap metal are not allowed. We live in a sort of uh, natural park. It's, uh, reserve nature reserve I, I don't know how, how to call it but I'm, I'm sure you you understand what I mean so for the local industry it's very difficult 
to make products without creating pollution uh, for painters work for example not allowed having a pile of scrap not allowed so this piece of iron I had to buy brand new and I paid 29 euros for it I think that's lots of money uh, in US dollar must be about I think 32 US dollar this is a what's what's it uh, the 55 millimeters by 120 millimeters I'm gonna make made in Germany clamps imagine we live in an ideal world and we could lift this machine off this platform take it out put the new platform in place and lower it down again that would be perfect but we don't live in an ideal world but I say if it is not ideal make it ideal It's uh, probably a bit overkill, but it's all I've got. This platform works extremely well. The problem is now this concrete is not really flat, there's a little bump in it. So it's still wiggling around. The best way to fix it should be to drill holes and fix it in the concrete. There's only one problem. I rent this place and I'm not sure the owner will be very happy if he knows the I think we can call this success. You're watching already eight minutes of video and we still didn't cut a thing about maybe my finger but that's okay uh, I, I will survive okay I put on my real safety glasses depth of cut a half a millimeter first we're gonna cut out this uh, scale and then we'll see what happens but before we do that first let's talk stickers I received a letter from Jew from the YouTube channel Sierra Speciality Automotive. This guy he can do everything. If you're interested in machining, in cars, in whatever, Jew can do. Jew, you see, I put your sticker already on my sheep door, so nothing can go wrong. And Jew also included other stickers from his channel, but also from Steve and Mutual and Emma. Now the idea that this ticket comes from Australia and then uh, make a little voyage to the United States and now to Europe, that's a tour of the world sticker. Now if you would like to see your sticker on my cheap door, not a problem, send me an email and we'll see what we can do. I'll be happy to put your sticker on my door. And if you want a Rustinox sticker, 
and you don't have a YouTube channel, that's not a problem. Send me an email and we will figure something out and I will send you two of these Rustinox stickers. YouTube channel or not, uh, cheap door or not, sticker board or not. You want stickers? I will send. For free of course. <laughs> At the beginning and the end of the cut we still have these dings of the tool falling down. The finish is uh, nice and shiny and you feel this uh, line pattern in these uh, trees. It's uh, fun. The tool survived. Okay, cut number two. You could think this video is speed up, but it is not. This is a real speed, real time video. This path is not so shiny as the first one, but looks good. I slow the machine down 100 strokes a minute. Gives us a cutting speed of about 15 meters a minute. I doubled the depth of cut. Now it's one millimeter. One millimeter of course is not much, but for this uh, little scale model machine, it's a big cut. Surface finish is of course a bit rougher, it's normal, with this depth of cut. Ok, let's push a little bit harder, we're gonna take 1.5 mm depth of cut. gonna stop right here because we hear that the machine is having a little bit difficulties to cut it and I don't want to break my beautiful little toy of course makes this nice and shiny cute little curly chips I thought maybe it was a good idea to show you what it does that's beautiful now the insert didn't break, uh, I used it and abused it, didn't break, you can hardly see it's been used. So I think indeed now with good inserts you can use them in the shaper. When you look at the surface finish, of course you're sitting a bit far away but uh, that's okay, it's uh, almost the same than with a uh, high speed steel. So really I don't see why we should use these uh, expensive uh, inserts to make parts. High speed steel, very good tool. Now I think what's important 
If you try, and I hope you will try, beware that something can go wrong. Listen to the machine. This kind of machines, all machines, they are talking to you. If your machine sounds like the church bell around 12 o'clock, well, well, maybe you live uh, near the church and it's dinner time, but maybe there's something wrong with your machine.